Hi, this is Roy with Math Emergency, and today we're going to look at some basics of Mathematica's plot command, including the basic syntax uh, and the options of plot range, aspect ratio, and axis origin. So what is the plot function in Mathematica for? Well, simply it's to give you a graphic representation of some whatever function it is you want to look at. Um, the plot function specifically is for 2D graphics um, and single variable functions. Um, if you want 3D, there's plot 3D, there's list plot, there's all kinds of other plots, but today we're going to focus specifically on just the 2D plot command. So the basic syntax for the plot command is you type plot capital P and within the brackets the first thing you want to type is the function that you want to see displayed in this case I want to see x squared then after that you have a comma and the second thing that you have to put in is the interval that you want displayed in in x values in our case so if I want I'm looking at x squared I want to see x from, uh, oh, I don't know, negative 5 to 5, okay? So it's first the function you want to look at, comma, and the interval of x values that you want to look at. Put that interval in the curly braces, and the, then you need to put the variable, comma, the lowest x value, comma, the highest x value. And really that's it. And very quickly, Mathematica will show us what x squared looks like between x equals negative 5 and 5. And negative 5 squared, 25, 5 squared, 25. So looks good to me. Now, if that's all you got, it'd be pretty, pretty decent. Um, you can see all kinds of crazy graphs. Um, you can also take these graphs and adjust them to your size by simply sliding them around. Okay, make them bigger or small as you want. Okay. You can also take the plot command and you can plot two uh, functions on the same set of graph on the same set of axes. And the way that you do that is the first thing that you enter then in curly braces are those two functions. So we want our first one to be x squared and our second one to be, let's say, 2x. And you can see right away that Mathematica draws it and we can, we can see this is our x squared function and this is our 2x function. Not bad, huh? And you, you, you definitely need to put curly braces around this, around this option as well. If you don't, it, it, it won't know what to do and you'll get an error. So make sure you do that. Uh, you can plot as many of these as you want. So if I, even if I wanted to throw in sine x on there. There we go. Okay, so now we have three. I mean, you can, who knows? As much as your computer will let you do it, you can do that. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty interesting, but there's, what you're going to want to do with plot is, you know, you might want to use some options. And one of the first options you might want to play around with is something called plot range. And the way you add options to this is you have your, these two things are required. So let's add in our second function here just to be fun. So remember, the first thing that's required is the function or functions wrapped in curly braces, comma, and then again wrapped in curly braces, we want uh, x and then our lowest x value and the highest x value that we want to consider. But after that, we can put in any number of options. And all the options that we can put in here are displayed in the help file. Um, we have another video on using help. You can check that out. But under the more information, you see that we have all these options here to use. Um, 
And first, we're going to look at the plot range, which is here, plot range. You see it says full and automatic, or the range of Y values. So let's look at that. First, we have full. So you want to type plot range in the arrow. And you can type full, or you can type automatic. Now, that doesn't look like it does much. Um, but in some cases, it can be um, really spectacular. So here I have uh, a plot of 100 cosine x plus e to the x squared, which uh, uh, kind of looks like a tooth to me, but whatever. Um, let, now let's look and see what happens. Plot range, capital R. If we put full, now look how different that, that graphic looks. It doesn't hardly look like a tooth now. It just looks like some sort of tub. Um, and if we, we can make that explicit by coming down here and making that automatic. And you'll see that, you can see the difference here um, right before your eyes. Another, so that's, that's with automatic, okay? You can also just specify one number, and if you put a number in there, let's say, um, I don't know, 25. What that means, that tells Mathematica that you want Y values between negative 25 and 25. Plot range is really, you're just specifying what Y values you want, nothing to do with the X values. So there we go, we have negative, negative 25 to 25. So you just put in one number, Mathematica will know to do um, that uh, range for the Y values. You could also specify a Y min and a Y max. And in regular terms, that just means the lowest Y value you're looking for. Let's say zero here for this one, comma, the highest Y value you're looking for. And let's go to 25. Make sure you put those in curly braces because it's a list of numbers. And Mathematica will know how to uh, handle that list of numbers. So plot range, and then in curly braces, your lowest Y value, your highest Y value. There you go. And our, I mean, you can see that our graph looks considerably different than the one above. Uh, you can also, and, and usually when you do things like this, the graph can start to look a little strange. So we'll talk about another uh, option called aspect ratio. And aspect ratio is really just the ratio of width to height for your uh, graph, specifically the axes. So you can do automatic, okay, which will give us this. I mean, this is five links here, and you can see that's the same as the five links here. I mean, look how crazy that looks, okay? Or you can specify your own aspect ratio with a number. You can do one, which tells it for every one X is the same as one Y. You can do um, 16 over 9 like your TV, 16 uh, width to 9 height. Okay. And I, I would just suggest you play around with that and uh, see what your graphs look like at that point. For now, I'm going to leave it like aspect ratio 1. And the last option we'll talk about is how to adjust the where the axes cross. Um, so here I've got a plot of 2x squared minus 20x plus 53. We want to plot x between 4 and 6. And you see, it looks like what we expect, a parabola, given that it's x squared. Um, but look where our axes cross, somewhere between, I don't know, 4 and 3 on the y-axis and 4 on the x-axis. Well, this can be a little misleading as to what the graph looks like. And so the option we want to add on, then, is axis origin, A-X-E-S. Okay, it gets the arrow like all our options do. And then in curly braces, we're gonna give it a list. Uh, we're basically just gonna give it an ordered pair. Where do we want the X to start? 
comma, where do we want the y to start? And that's what our graph really looks like, our function really looks like on a graph. It's way off in the corner, not down here like uh, we might have thought otherwise. So I hope that these help you to better visualize some of the graphs you have. We'll be putting out other videos to come, especially on the plot and some neat plot options that you can use uh, to help you visualize uh, your math. Thanks.